Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dr. Ace video. In this video, we're going to be playing Valentina Rossi the game with Scott Redding in the British Grand Prix of Silverstone. And away we go. Starting from the back of the grid as always in my MoGP videos. We aim to start from the most difficult spot on the qualifying grid. And make our way through to the podium or even if we're good enough to the victory positions. So, so far not a bad start from the final spot on the grid. Great exit speed out of there, we're in the slipstream. Could be squeezing up against, could be squeezing up the side of Paul Spargo. Is that Paul trying to block us out? We're trying to push him wide. Get out of the way. We don't have time for this. Rossi was a bit out, out wide there. Oh, Bradley Smith, that threw me off. I thought he was going to wheelie. I thought he was going to wheelie straight off the Yamaha YZRM1. Oh, a bit of a nudge against the fellow, fellow British rider. Bit out of shape there. But we are closing in on Alicia Sparger already. Looks like Marquez leads. From Lorenzo Rossi, Tavizioso, Andre Iannone, Maverick Vinales, Danny Pedrosa, Cal Cutchlow. Alicia Spargo, we're going wide. Oh my goodness, we've knocked Alicia Spargo wide and we've gone wide ourselves. Too busy, too busy focusing on what's happening ahead and not what's happening now. Sizing Barber up for turn one. Looks like I'm not going to be not in the right position to overtake him. Maybe perhaps around the outside for the fellow Ducati rider. Not this time, or perhaps. Had to run it deep. No, I lost a lot of exit speed there. Should be no rush. Barbara is still holding me up and yet again I bump into the back of his machine. He has a quick look over his shoulder and so do we. Bradley Smith tries to get up on the inside of, the, of his fellow compatriot. the place in that corner as we look to get through and back to Barbara yet again he sh slams the door shut in my face perseverance pays off as we now although we did cut a bit of the rumble strip make our way into ninth place oh a bit of a collision there between Lacia Spargo and Scott Redding Scott fires that Ducati pass. Fellow English compatriot is in our sights next. Is a whole hey Lorenzo has to set the fastest lap of the race the 157 241 I believe that was we're off the pace by two tenths of a second but we do look to be going up the inside of Cal Crutzlow now Cal responds oh a bit of a bump now we just trail behind the 2016 British Grand Prix winner Maverick Vinales first win for Suzuki since with Le Mans I think with Le Mans 2007 Perhaps 2009, it was a long time ago. But currently, Vinales does not look threatening. In the top spot of the podium. Ooh, a little bit of a wheelie there from Reddin. 
Down, boy. Again, we've gone a bit too hot there. We've got a good acceleration here to attack Maverick Vinales as we sweep his inside. The crowd goes wild. Sort of. <laughs> now the Repsol Honda is in our sights. Takati wants to eat another victim. We're through on Daddy Pedroza. We've got the Amaniac Joe, the Italian, Andre Inoni in our sights. Is that <laughs> do it? Looks like it, that was Danny Pedroza giving us a little bit of a bump. My goodness, we're out of the seat. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I'm going to get black flagged for that one. Oh my, we've just cut half of the track for an error. And we've just taken out Danny Pedroza. Whoops. Indeed. Andre, you know, he's wide. Don't want to follow him into that. Oh, is he bumped? And Andre de Vizioso off. This is out of the way for <coughs> fellow Ducati teammate. We're going to now throw the Ducati up on the inside. Is it going to stick? Or is the Malaysian winner? The Malaysian Grand Prix winner fights back. With the Austria Grand Prix winner. Wow, what a battle. Ducati at its finest, but we are losing ground with Valentino Rossi here. Will Scott Redding say, stick your factory machine, I've got the satellite. Oh, as the tyre screeches. Bumping the Ducatis out of the way. So we're now one second away from the nine times world champion Valentino Rossi. So we are gaining ground on the doctor already. We have the heat into our tyres. Although the tyres are depleting, they are degrading fast. Tyre life may be an issue towards the end of this race. Maybe those Michelins won't last. As we see ourselves on the big screen on the right there. we catch down can we chase Rossi can we chase him down we're eight tenths of a second behind now Let's see pushing this bike so hard now Seven tenths is the gap between Rossi and Redin. And Redin break the doctor's heart and steal third place from him. The telltale sign will be whether these tyres last. It's a 
think we just set the fastest lap of the race there, unless that ties Lorenzo, who's fastest. You should see on the graphic on the left hand side momentarily exactly what the gap is from Rossi, but I don't think we need the gap anymore because we're already here. It's only one and a half tenths, but two bike lengths away. It looks like the Yamaha is out dragging this Ducati. What the hell? <laughs> Rossi's not out of the woods yet. Seem to be losing their front end in that corner. Lost so much ground with the rear, not gripping. Back to seven tenths of a second. We have used a lot of tire life to get here where we are now. We can't squander this opportunity now as we just bumped the nine times world champion. Sorry about that, pal. Will Rossi respond? Hopefully, he didn't. Hopefully, he's not going to respond like Zarco did to Lowe's in that corner. Currently in third place, so a great race so far. Eight tenths separates Marquez. To Reading. Two laps to go, the penultimate lap. We are so strong in this opening sector. As the gap is now four and a half tenths of a second. This is getting rather interesting. We could have the British ride at the top of the podium in Silverstone. See virtual Scott Redding lifting the champagne. Is that going to be? This corner, the last lap, there, well, the previous lap, we lost a lot of ground because of the rear tyre. And looking at the graphic on the right now, that rear tyre has had it. But it's at optimum temperature, so we should still be able to steal this from Marquez. As we go over the inside of Marquez, we're through. Thank you very much, the Englishman says. And now it's eight tenths separating Lorenzo to Reading. Marquez is coming there. Marquez has got the speed on the straight. Will Marquez respond? I'd be very surprised if he doesn't. Looks like Redding just managed to slam the door shut. But that looks like this is a battle now for second place. The gap has increased to Lorenzo to 1.149. That may be it for the battle for first place, but second place was still good in my book. We have gained a couple of bite lengths on Marquez, and we have gained a few bite lengths on Lorenzo. Is it possible? We may have just secured second place if we can just hold on to the... Stay on the tarmac and hold on. Uh-oh, I, I just jinxed myself. I was braking so hard, yet there's nothing, nothing happened. Rossi sneaks through! Rossi sneaks through! Where the hell did he come from? Oh my goodness, the tyres have gone. The tyres have literally gone now. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, the tyres have gone. I feel like I'm riding on rain tyres. I don't believe this. Oh my goodness. Heartbreak as Davizioso will probably try and steal four. Look how early I'm going to have to break, and gently I am. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm all over the place in the final corners. As you know, when he tries to s steal fifth. Oh! <laughs> Basically slid out of the way. Oh, and you know, up on the inside. Disastrous for Scott Redding. Disaster. After such a magnificent start to the race, what a disastrous end. We set a great lap time as well with a 156.810. I don't believe it. Gutted. So finally, I'd just like to say shout out to Clive Batty for... Uh, for the recommendation of doing this race. Unfortunately, mate, I couldn't get you the first place, but we did get sixth, so it's not all bad. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and make a comment if you can.